another beautiful day. We got some bug spraying to do. Yeah. You ever get sick of these baby boomers sitting on their phones? That's good. Is this gonna be enough? Yeah, that'll be enough for March. For those tanks anyway, for this load? Yeah. How many of these do we want? Probably four boxes. Okay. Unfortunately, this is the time of year where we do spray what I call the nasty stuff. It is an insecticide. We definitely wear our gloves and our goggles when we're dealing with this stuff. We put on a pretty small rate per acre. It's no different than any other chemical. There's not a ton of it going on there. But uh, our soybean aphids have hit the threshold on a few fields. We're going to go out there. We're going to spray uh, this insecticide. We're also going to spray a fungicide with it. Uh, it's, we've got pretty healthy beans right now. I'd hate to see them go south. This is the time of year where our beans really start to fill out. It's very important for the yield, so we're going to put some fungicide on to protect the crop, some insecticide on to protect from the bugs, and uh, it's that time of year. Jim's back with another load, getting corn out. Yeah, I would want the 6.6 liter over the Duramax. Yep. Probably the high country. I'm possibly looking at trading trucks with Marthal or Chevrolet over in Glenwood, so we'll see where that goes. I love trucks. Who doesn't love trucks? I'm going to let dad worry about the spraying responsibilities right now and I'm going to jump in the skid steer and try and finish a job that I started yesterday around the bin site. I picked up a bunch of the trash that was there from finishing off the concrete, moving the conveyors, but now I want to fill in the gravel so it gets all settled out and nice before harvest is upon us. Well, I didn't get a lot of time there. Good to take one more? The boss must be out here with the big equipment somewhere. Girls? Girls? Must have come down to see me. Ran the battery dead. Took off on foot. Classic. Did you guys know that FBN is available in Australia now? And you don't even have to be a member to see all their chemical pricing. So if you're looking for chemicals right now, like, like we have, you can see their pricing without being a member, and if you want to be a member, whether you're in Australia or anywhere in the world, you can save $100 on a membership by using me as a reference. Just, I mean, just fun facts. Now, rumor has it, my buddy Randy, the master pipe layer, who is one of the co-hosts on our Off the Husk podcast, is out combining wheat. And I think it would be rude to not go visit him and show you guys how the wheat's doing this year. And as usual, I have a few phone calls to make on this drive, so we're gonna do it the easy way. He's not in the green one, which makes me somewhat disappointed. Also somewhat excited. Look at him, he's just always on his phone. Are you always on your phone? He likes my, my MPL shirt. How embarrassing we dress alike. I'm a little jealous you get to drive a combine. It's, it's a nice change of pace. It is, I bet. Look at that. This is the happiest I've been all day, Randy. <laughs> Who's running the other one? Tanner. Tanner? So how many acres do you have of wheat? Uh, about 500. 500, so you'll finish tomorrow? Uh, we actually pulled into it and uh, one is a little green yet. It's gonna have to wait a week probably. Ah. Uh, so we've got this one and then we'll go back tiling for a week until that one's ready. You got tile under this field? This one will be. It will be? Yep. Is that why it's in wheat right now, yes. part of the reason? Yep, this one. We did the other two quarters we had into wheat. We just put into wheat because we didn't know what else to plant this spring. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of good options. No. What's the yield like? Uh, 50, 67 at the moment, but... 50-ish like for, yeah, for average? for average. So that's, um, that's pretty average, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd hope for 80. But I don't know that we ever get it. Yeah, you'd hope for it. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I mean, you usually hope for at least 60. So yeah, it is a little light. But it's a little light. Yeah. Is right. that any indicator what we might have with corn or soybeans? I don't think so. It doesn't seem like the no. wheat's a great indicator. 
How do you like the, the yellow machine compared to the green one? Good, no real complaints. It's quieter in the cab. It is pretty quiet in here. Yeah, but my feet hit the windshield. A little less leg room? Yeah. It's roomy though. Yeah, there's a lot of room behind the cab. I think technically the cab is actually bigger than the deers, but just the way the seat sits far and you, you're a little too closer to the windshield. You got anything good in the fridge? I don't. Ham sandwich, I think. Ham sandwich and some water. Yep. You're all business. So there's not much wheat in our area in general, especially if you get back where our, where we're at, east of here right. a little bit. Yeah. Explain to the people watching why you have wheat and why I've never even, we've never had wheat on our farm. Well, this quarter here has wheat done it because we're gonna, we're gonna tile it. And we just start, our season's so short, we just don't have enough time to do it all. So we'll get this wheat off and then we can work on it and uh, do a good tile job across it. Just opens up the acres in yeah. August now. Yeah. So you got something to do here. And then we, in the past we always had, because we we have a cleaning mill um, in town, that's part of what we do also is is uh, clean wheat to grain and resell. So we will plant our, our registered wheat and then we'll certify it, clean it, certify it, sell it as seed wheat for next year. So you're kind of catering to a niche market there instead of just yeah. selling it as a commodity. Yep. So then in back in 08, I think we'd quit growing that. Uh, we'd still clean wheat for other people, but the wheat had just less and less wheat was being you know, grown around here. So uh, we'd quit raising it also, and then we just started five years ago uh, to give ourselves an option to, to do some dirt work or tiling on it, basically. Yep. Randy's got a camera inside his grain hopper here and he's asking me if we can make it. And personally, I think it'd be kind of cool if we got some cab wheat. You know, about to send it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Randy, you wussed out. Chicken out. Chicken out. No cab wheat today. Yeah, they got a green combine going, but you know, Randy's in this one and I've never driven a New Holland, so I think I probably should. By the way, Becky, I just jumped outside and took a whole bunch of clips so we can use those kind of as transitional clips as well. Kind of the same, same thing along the lines of the GoPro, which you probably knew, but it makes me feel good to say it because I am my father's son. Hey, look at the green one's coming. It's full on double harvest all the way. So the second machine they got out here is a Deer 690 and he's got the spreader lifted up. He's just dropping it in rows here because they got the neighbor out here doing some bailing. This is fun. We got an 8345 RT with a Kinsey roughly 1100 bushel cart it sounds like. I think it's a 10, 1045 maybe. Maybe I have that wrong, something, something like that. My friend just abandoned me and went to the other side of this pass. <sighs> so now I gotta walk. Probably should have worn real pants, huh? Stuff's a little bit itchy in the shoes. Wait, Ran Randy, Rand, uh. It's hot out here, you can't just leave a guy like that. You know how itchy my feet are? You're a little dirty too. Am I? But it's dirty, I'm ever. Did you see a bathroom over here? Uh, there was one on the other side of the building. On the other side? Yeah. Okay. You gonna let me drive then? That's cool. All right, see if I can screw anything up before he gets in here. 
Okay, pull this one up. I think it's on already. She's running. Okay, now this one? Yep. It's a new Holland, you gotta wait. There it goes. Jeez. It has to think. Okay, uh, throttle, throttle, throttle. You're close, right there. That one? Do I gotta go up twice? Nope. It just knows. It knows. Okay, where's my, uh, my up down? Uh, R, once is down, twice is up to headland. Okay, same button. Yep, and now that'll also set you out of steer. With one push? One push. Okay, even when I'm, when I'm not moving? Yep. Okay. Down. Auto steer set. You can hit okay on that. Okay. You'll and learn uh, to really like that monitor. Is there a... Uh, there's a lock on this. Uh, back, finger in the back. Pull the trigger? You gotta finger it a little there bit. There we go. Okay. I'm harvesting weeds. I haven't done this since I was in Montana in a case. Nice. Yeah, it's been almost a year. How do I know the auto steer is kicked in? Where's my confidence? Well, uh, it's not. Hit the arm again. Why was it not? I'm not sure. Right there now. It says okay, it's got the A. Yep. Okay. Uh, what speed are you going? Uh, about four. And uh, you're just running the header solid, so I don't have to worry about adjusting stuff up and down? Um, or the, right. you move the reel, or you pretty well just leave it down? Uh, no, I've been moving. It, it's taller and shorter places, so I move around, but you probably don't have to. I just always I just always have to fiddle. I assume that's this button. Yep, that's yep. all your reel. The other one's your head. Uh, everything should be flat enough that you don't have to do too much. Okay. It starts digging in, the track starts spinning, then maybe bump the head up a little bit. That's how you know you're pushing. <laughs> I'll maybe try and stay ahead of that. <laughs> What am I looking at here? We got 58 acres done with this machine in this field. Yeah. Uh, 3,200 dry bushels so far yep. run through today in this field. 11 and a half moisture. Yep. 62.3 yield in this instant yield. Yep. Does it have an average yield? It does. If you hit the home button, it's the bottom left. It's bottom left. The one that looks like a home. Yep. So we're at 55. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you were watching this one. Yep. All right. This is the monitor you said I'd like. Yep. Was that sarcasm or not? Uh, you'll just have to clear some kind of a warning. Three hundred and eighty-two thousand million times throughout the day. Okay. Yep. Pops up. You have to hit OK. Hit OK. Touch steering wheel. Hit OK. Every time. Every time. Just always hit OK. Yep. Is that a common thing, or did you leave it in the rain? I think it's common. Heating is way over there. It's different. So there's no controls here. Are you cool enough? Yep. It's kind of nice. Your your visibility is. Actually, I'm a little warm. Yeah. I oh, did I did a lot of jogging up and down our wheat field. I see you out there. Yeah. You do what you have to do for the shot, right? Yep. People right. depend on it. Yep. Will all that be clean for seed? No. Um, there's 4,000 bushels we kept. That's that's uh, registered. That'll be certified for seed for next year. Linkert, I think that is called. I don't know. Some of this might be kept for more of a bin run type. It's not certified. So you'll still sell it as seed? We can, yeah. You we'll can. Sell it as uh, just a straight bin run. You could sell it as cover crop to a guy who's interested in potentially trying some cover crop. Right, yeah. But it'll die this winter. Do you want it for winter? Um, yeah. Because we do have winter. I wheat. want to plant green into wheat. Yeah. So we did buy winter wheat. Two places okay. up. So double click the R. Double click the R. Double click. And I can turn and just yep. hit it once. Yep. And I your hand was pretty loose too, isn't it? Like, well, compared, like, to, compared to a deer, moves harder. Yeah. So I, when I'm used to that, I get in this. And then oh, and then you're jerking. jerking. Yeah. And one time. That's close. Look at that. You're a combine driver. Yeah. I don't need to trigger it or anything. Just the top. Just started. the top started. Yeah. Are you nervous? Do you trust me? Uh. Well, it's not really worth anything. So I trust you. <laughs> you know what it is though? Yeah. The header. That grain. Did card. you? Uh, 
Do you know what, I was gonna mention that. Do you notice how close we are with this one? Yeah, I was gonna stand between them and get some really good you footage. Wouldn't, you wouldn't fit. Yeah, I was, I was a little <laughs> nervous about ducking the header and the cart tire as he went by. You gotta hit the header, hit the header button once, and then a second time for the steer. So I want to oh, double our double going it. in. So I do. So I always hit hit it, so it sets uh, sets the uh, auto steer, and then I tap up on the hydro. You mm, might want to back off a little bit. Too fast. Some green wheat right here. That vibrating under your floor. Yeah. That's getting close to the limit. Okay. <laughs> Yep, back her down. down that one. <laughs> Guessing you don't want me to slug it full of green wheat. Uh, no. So how how wet is too wet? Because we're looking at fifteen percent now. Uh, at this point, we don't care. There's water all over the field. Yeah. We're throwing it on air. So, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I suppose on air in these temps this time of year, like it'll dry it down. Corn you can't throw on air. Right. Yeah. No. Well. Uh, 16's getting a little iffy, but 15 we'll throw in. But we're blending all this with 12 and a half. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be fine. All right, Randy. Thanks for the New Holland lesson and the wheat lesson, and let me run up and down your field. Well, look at that. Now I'm a professional in a whole nother color. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, keep it between the rows. Oh. We'll, we'll let Becky know that we're taking this clip okay. ahead of time. So this will be probably the ending one, or like Randy's gonna do the. I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> yeah, I gotta and get then, game face again though. Yeah, now. you got. You can't laugh about it. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's, it's recording. Recording right now. Yep. Oh, and gotcha. and okay. and action. Now I gotta get. Oh, I thought he'd never leave. <laughs>